Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. K's Simplified Maths. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic in mathematics, proving that log 3 is irrational. We'll break down the proof, understand the reasoning behind it, and provide some deeper insights to enhance your understanding. Let's get started. Before we jump into the proof, let's quickly recap what it means for a number to be irrational. An irrational number is a number that cannot be written as a fraction, p over q, where p and q are integers, and q is not equal to zero. Classic examples include pi and square root 2. In contrast, rational numbers can be expressed as a fraction. Now, log base 2 of 3 represents the power to which to must be raised to get 3. This is known as the definition of a logarithm. We'll show that there is no way to express log base 2 of 3 as a ratio of two integers. If we can prove this, then we will have shown that log base 2 of 3 is irrational. Setting up the proof by contradiction. To prove that log base 2 of 3 is irrational, we will use proof by contradiction. Here's the approach. 1. For the sake of contradiction, Assume that log base 2 of 3 is rational. 2. This means that we can write log base 2 of 3 equals p over q, where p and q are positive integers, and q is not equal to 0. Note that we are using positive integers p and q because log base 2 of 3 is positive. The log base 2 of 3 represents the power to which to must be raised to obtain 3. This power must be positive because since the base 2 is less than 3 but greater than 1, it requires a positive exponent to reach 3. If you need a recap on logarithms, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. 3. Using the definition of log, 2 to the power of p over q is equal to 3. 4. Raising both sides to the power of q, we get 2 to the power of p equals 3 to the power of q. Let's pause here. This equation tells us that 2 to the power of p equals 3 to the power of q. What's interesting is that they are both powers of different prime numbers. We need to demonstrate that it is impossible for them to be equal. Let's examine this more closely. Analyzing powers of prime numbers. This step is crucial in our proof. Let's think about what it means for 2 to the power of p to equal 3 to the power of q. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every positive integer greater than 1 can be uniquely expressed as a product of prime numbers. For example, 20 for equals 2 to the power of 3 times 3 and 90 equals 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. This means that no to different prime factorizations can represent the same number. In other words, if two numbers are equal, they must have identical prime factorizations. That is to say, the prime factorization of any positive integer is unique. 2 to the power of p represents a power of the prime number 2. Regardless of the value of p, 2 to the power of p will always consist solely of the prime number 2 multiplied by itself p times, while 3 to the power of q will always consist solely of the prime number 3 multiplied by itself q times. Returning to the main steps, if we assume that 2 to the power of p equals 3 to the power of q, according to the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, both sides must have the same prime factorization. However, this is impossible since the prime factorization of them is not identical. Thus, we reach a contradiction. Our assumption that log base 2 of 3 is rational must be false, which means that log base 2 of 3 is, in fact, irrational. For this question, we can also say that 2 to the power of p and 3 to the power of q cannot be equal because 2 to the power of p is always even, while 3 to the power of q is always odd for any positive integer p and q. 
Summary of the proof. Question. Prove by contradiction that log base 2 of 3 is irrational. Assume that log base 2 of 3 is rational. This means that log base 2 of 3 is equal to p over q, where p and q are positive integers, and q is not equal to 0. Now, multiply both sides by q. Next, apply the logarithm law to bring q into the log as an exponent for 3. Using the definition of logarithm, we get 2 to the power of p equals 3 to the power of q. However, this is impossible under the fundamental theorem of arithmetic since the prime factorization of 2 to the power of p and 3 to the power of q is not identical. Therefore, by contradiction, log base 2 of 3 is irrational. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you now have a solid understanding of why log base 2 of 3 is irrational and feel confident in tackling similar proofs. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Mr. K's Simplified Maths for more maths insights. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.